Benny the Bumblebee's Ice Cream Adventure Once upon a time in a vibrant meadow filled with colorful wildflowers and buzzing with life, there lived a little bumblebee named Benny. Benny was no ordinary bee. He had a curious spirit and a sweet tooth unlike any other in the hive. While most bees were busy collecting nectar from flowers, Benny spent his days dreaming about something even sweeter, ice cream. One sunny afternoon, as Benny fluttered from flower to flower, he overheard a conversation between two children playing in a nearby park. They were excitedly discussing the ice cream truck that had just arrived, bringing with it the promise of all sorts of delicious frozen treats. Did you hear about the rainbow sprinkles ice cream, one child exclaimed. And the chocolate fudge with marshmallows. Benny's tiny heart raced at the thought of ice cream. He had never tasted it before, and the very idea of it sent shivers of excitement down his fuzzy little body. I must have some, he buzzed to himself. Determined to embark on an adventure, Benny set off toward the park, following the sweet scent that wafted from the ice cream truck. As he approached the park, Benny marveled at the towering trees and the bright flowers that swayed gently in the breeze. His little wings carried him higher and higher until he spotted the colorful ice cream truck parked under a shady oak tree. The children were lining up, their faces full of joy and anticipation. Benny hovered eagerly above the truck, watching as the ice cream man scooped big, generous servings into cones and cups. But how could a tiny bumblebee like him ever hope to taste that creamy delight? Just then, Benny noticed a little girl, maybe six years old, looking around for her ice cream cone after she had dropped it in surprise upon seeing the funny little bumblebee buzzing around her. With a twinkle in her eye, she exclaimed, Oh, I dropped my cone. But look at this little guy. He's so cute. In that moment, Benny had an idea. He zipped down to the girl and said in his little bee voice, Excuse me, kind human. I see you've lost your ice cream. If you could share a tiny bit of your treat with me, I promise I'll make it worth your while. The girl's eyes widened, and she giggled. A talking bee. How cool. I can share a bit of my ice cream with you. With a smile, the girl took her remaining cone and carefully placed a tiny dollop of chocolate fudge ice cream on a flower petal. Benny buzzed over joyfully, landing on the petal. He took a tiny taste, and his eyes lit up with delight. Oh my goodness! This is the best thing I've ever tasted, he exclaimed. As he savored the sweet flavor of the chocolate and marshmallows, Benny felt a sudden burst of energy. Realizing that this was no ordinary treat, he flew up high and did a little dance in the sky, twirling and flapping his wings with joy. Word spread quickly among the other children, and soon they were all gathering to watch the wonderful show Benny was putting on. The little girl, now the queen of her very own ice cream party, giggled and cheered him on. Inspired, the other kids started to bring Benny tiny bits of their ice cream to share. Benny felt a warmth in his heart unlike anything he had experienced before, surrounded by friends and sharing delicious ice cream. With each tiny scoop shared, Benny promised to tell everyone in his hive about this wonderful treat that was even sweeter when shared with friends. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of orange and pink, Benny knew that this day would be one he would never forget. He said goodbye to his new human friends and, with a happy buzz, flew back to the meadow, his tiny belly full of ice cream and his heart full of joy. And from that day on, Benny the bumblebee became known not just for his buzzing around flowers, but for being the bravest little bee who found a way to turn a perfect day in the meadow into an unforgettable adventure. And so, if you're ever in a park on a sunny day and you see a little bumblebee dancing in the air, it just might be Benny, still searching for his next sweet adventure. The End